In this presentation, we will take a look at our first option for creating invoices within our cash basis bookkeeping system, and that is to create the invoices outside of the QuickBooks bookkeeping system using something like a Microsoft Word or Microsoft Excel. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. Remember, the goal here is to have the system just be a cash basis system. So we don't really want to enter the invoices into our system because that would be more of a full service type bookkeeping system. However, if we're asked about invoices and how to set them up and how can we can help to make that process happen and track the invoices, one option is to set up just a template for an invoice in Excel or Word. So if we have a very repetitive type of business, like many small businesses are, then a Word document will help or Excel could be useful, that could be all we need. If, however, we have a lot of different things that we sell, that's when QuickBooks is really useful because then we can have different items and, and be able to set that up without having to have changed the invoice all the time or have a, a bunch of different templates. So again, if it's just a simplified invoice, Word does very well, and there's some pre-formatted templates. So if we open up a Word document, for example, and we go to the File tab, and we go to New, then we can type in just uh, invoice or search for invoice and it'll give us a bunch of templates for uh, types of invoices that we could use so we could start with these templates if we go into these templates and create an invoice with it then we can customize this template to uh, some degree and then use something like one of these templates in order to enter the data and of course main things are going to be the ad addresses who we send in the invoice to we might be emailing this invoice um, so we could obviously save it and email it quantity description unit and total and then the total so this is what we would be filling out in order if if a customer was making invoices for sales invoices and we would hope we would think that under this bookkeeping system most of them would be like service item uh, invoices and not typically half sales or usage tax on those hopefully uh, given that being the case and then of course we can show them how to how to save this not as a word document but as a pdf we can save as and browse and when they save it we can save it as a pdf document here so that we're not given a word document as an invoice we're going to give a pdf document or we can we can show them how to use the cute pdf printer which is to print here and then use this cute PDF printer to save it as a PDF file I've, as we've been doing a little bit. This is a free program, a, a PDF printer. And what you can do is basically print it to a PDF file uh, without having to go to that save as option. So that's that's one option. So we can do that for, for customers, but we can also just help customers to, to build in that format and then possibly just track the information in an Excel document for outstanding balances given the fact that if it's a small business we shouldn't have too much in terms of accounts receivable to track and we can do that in a system outside of QuickBooks given the fact that our QuickBooks system is based on a cash basis and we'll see some other uses of the complications why that's a bit of a complication to enter that into QuickBooks and invoice when we're on a cash basis as we look at some of these other methods we can do the same thing with an Excel document. So if we were to go to an Excel uh, Excel file and they and want to use Excel to create invoices, uh, we can open up an Excel. We can have a new Excel document. So we're gonna we're in the File tab. So let's if I had a worksheet open, it would look like this. I'd go to the File tab, and then we want to go to New, and then we're just gonna type into the template invoice and see what we get on the invoices. Now, Excel might give us a little bit easier. I'm just going to pick the first invoice, create that. It might be a little bit easier in Excel because Excel might do some more calculations for us as we enter the, in, the invoice amounts here. So if we entered invoice amounts, it'll sum up for us in Excel. And again, we could save this invoice not as an Excel document, but save as a PDF file, save as. And then when we browse and put it on the computer, we can change the file type to a PDF file so we can save it as a PDF file way down here <laughs> and that'll save it as a PDF or we can print it as a PDF file by going to print and using the cute PDF printer which is a free printer you could look for it online and, and get that and that'll just mean 
that you print it and it'll just save it as a PDF when you go through that printing option. So then when you when you give it to a customer, then it's going to be in PDF format. They don't have to open up Excel. It's just going to be a PDF type format if you email it to the customer. So those are going to be two options that we could have. The third option is that they actually purchase. They, if they have, and these would be really good options, again, if they don't have a lot in terms of uh, what they need to track, and then they could possibly just write it right down when they invoice the client and what is due to see when they get paid. Basically, do the accounts receivable in Excel or by paper uh, outside of the QuickBooks system, given the fact that we're not doing the full service QuickBooks. The other option is to actually purchase QuickBooks or get a copy of QuickBooks if possible for the client just to create invoices and or track the accounts receivable. And a lot of times, a lot of small businesses, that's really what they use QuickBooks for to actually just make the accounts, the, the invoices, because uh, it, it is helpful. And we'll see this in the other kind of options when we look at our side of it, because the, the QuickBooks can be formatted so that the it'll be standardized to create the invoices. So if there's a lot of different things we sell, in other words, it can be easier to use QuickBooks because we can preset those into the system and make the invoice pretty quickly. If we sell all the same thing, like if we just do one service, we do guitar lessons, then the invoice in Word or Excel is probably good enough because that's all we do. It's easy. We only need one template to, to do that. So it is possible to use uh, QuickBooks to do that. Just note that we can't give our file of QuickBooks to a customer under this system very easily. We can share a couple files, but we're supposed to be using our same business. It should be in the same business. So in other words, if we have a desktop version, how could another client use it? We'd have to give them a copy of our desktop version, which you're only supposed to have one to two or three that's in the same business uh, to, to do that. So we can't really share our desktop. We can't really use it. It'd be difficult to use it remotely. You could try to set up a system to use it remotely for these for these different types of cases. But again, it, it's difficult to do that. It's, that's not really what we can do physically just to create invoices to, is to give the desktop version, especially if we have a, a lot of clients that we couldn't really do that. But if they get a copy of QuickBooks in some way or another just to create invoices, if that's worthwhile for them to do, they could do that as well. And note that the QuickBooks copy is something, once again, if you get the desktop version, you get you pay a one-time fee and you can have that for, for quite some time. And if your only goal on it is to, is to enter invoices and or track uh, receivables, you can probably have that for you know a good amount of years and it will serve that purpose for, for quite a while. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info.